And I think there's a smudge on the cam, bro. What is going on, YouTube fam? Is my greatest sin. I gotta vibe out to this shit first. What is good, family? Welcome back to the YouTube. I'm so glad you're here. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Consistent Ash, spam it in the chat. Dial in on this YouTube thing, and I'm committing to that. So much has happened to me in the past month or two. So what you're about to see is my moving experience from about a month ago. I moved from my hometown of Arizona to a brand new state. I'm not gonna share, you know, where I moved to. Just for my privacy and um, my peace of mind for the time being, this whole experience, this whole move has just been like so eye-opening and it proved I'm stronger than I thought I was and I'm capable of more than I thought I was. Just be warned, the next clip that this jumps to, it was a dark place for me. Um, I'm still healing. I just, you know, I appreciate all the love and the support and I want to put that out there first and foremost because if you take the time out of your day to watch what I post, I just cannot thank you enough and you're making my dreams come true one day at a time. Welcome to the family if you're new here. I'm excited for what's in store and I know there's more to come, more life, more blessings and this is just the start of it all and I, I want you guys to see the beginning of this experience. Maybe learn something from it or maybe it'll help you through something that you're going through. Kind of gives you a look into how I was feeling prior to making this decision to move and why I made the decision to move. You know, the man upstairs has got me and he is the reason I'm getting through what I'm going through. I think that's very important to share with you all in order for you to kind of know me on a deeper, more personal level. Trust me, after like the first uh, couple minutes, it does get better. I love you, you are my family. Love yourself, do shit for you. I think that's all I have for you. Also, don't come for me in my lisp. I have Invisalign now, so talking with this thing in is tragic, but it's only gonna be a couple months. Don't judge me, okay? No judgment zone. I don't judge you, so don't judge me type shit. Type shit. I'm gonna go get painful now, but you stay tuned. Let's get it. <laughs> documenting this. I want to look back in a few months from now and things worked out the way the way they were supposed to. It's August 2nd um, and as of August 9th, a week from today, I am picking up and reinventing myself. I'm moving from my hometown of Arizona. I've decided that this is no longer for me. Me and Miss Hallie here, we have been going through it the past like month it's been very eye-opening i am trying to practice what i preach to all of you and that is to get uncomfortable do the shit that scares you so i'm doing this you know closing a door on the past 22 years of my life the things i've been dealing with here i think i deserve to be happy and i'm i'm really ready for this change i think me putting it on camera and looking back on it will help me later on to know that like this was the right decision so i'm gonna try to document you know the whole experience you know packing up everything and driving 14 hours to a new state thank you for supporting me we shall see where time takes us people breaking in to save you. Hi. I am feeling 
sad but hopeful. I'm giving myself until we cross the border of Arizona until I can wipe the slate clean. We'll start fresh. So we are heading to Vegas. Uh, we're about an hour in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Talk about spoiled. Oh, brother. Five hours today, ten hours tomorrow, and then we will be at our destination. Um, I start my job bright and early on the day we get back at 5 a.m. Go join a gym. I have two in mind. I'm just going to kind of vlog this experience. Moving from my hometown to somewhere I've only been twice before. I'm scared, shitless, but I'm also very excited. We're going to get better. We're going to get better mentally. I'm going to feel whole again and I'm gonna find myself. That is the point of all of this. I'm leaning into God and seeking Him on this new path that I'm on, so. Bro, she's trying to run away. <laughs> Dude! Shada, you gotta sit down. Yeah, I you put your seatbelt on. But we swore we'd make it. Our love could take it 400 miles to stay. Please. <laughs> All that bullshit. Every time I hear that. You look so cute. sudden move. I don't know where the adapter to connect my camera to my microphone went. So mics are in the process of being connected for the rest of the vlog. If not, we're just gonna have to deal with the audio for this vlog. We have made it to Vegas. We are currently stopping at Walgreens because little miss here had one thing. She had one thing to keep track of. Well, maybe two. Her leash and her dog food. Dog food is secured, leash gone. She could not keep track of her belongings, so mom has to replace the leash now. Girl, she ain't getting into the hotel tonight. He's also grabbing a lock for the back of the U-Haul because I don't trust nobody up in here in Vegas. Like, we could walk out tomorrow and I could have no belongings. We're gonna make sure that we lock this bad boy up so my shit, everything I have to my name does not get stolen out of the back of this truck. Yeah, feeling good. Five hours went by like nothing. We're just talking and vibing the whole time and I think tomorrow's gonna be a piece of cake. Saying goodbye is never easy. Even just like see you laters. A lot of people that I care about, but one person in particular, it, it cut deep, it hurt. And I'm hurting and I've, you know, I've been hurting for a few months knowing that like this has been long overdue and this was coming. I'm praying that God has a plan, nothing's permanent. And I'm just trying to keep an open mind about the whole situation. You know, certain people that come into your life, they'll always have that special place in your heart and just like you'll have forever love for them. And that's where I'm at right now. Always having love for the people that I have once had love for. Although it hurts, I know time heals all wounds. The man above is looking out. He's got me. And I will continue to seek him and just trust him on this journey. Like I need to spend more time devoting to him. Work, church, and gym. And my dog. Make, make sure she's she's stable. She's driving the, the U-Haul, so she should be good. Enough of the rambling. Got the goods. Hallie's Hallie's birthday present. Cause she had one thing to keep track of and she lost it, so. Irresponsible. Irresponsible. We got some Claritin and a luck. So that I don't lose all that I have to my name. What is the point of this mirror? Stay in that one. Hallie's in Vegas. Dad's in Vegas. We are in the ghetto of Fremont Street. Said I'm a golden nugget at the golden nugget. Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, here is the petal. Oh, ooh, take a load off. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I don't know what he's talking about. That was a dirty ass window. Quite the view we got here. Jesus is shining through the clouds. The U Haul is somewhere over yonder. Honey was in the room alone. And she did so good. All right, so it's day two of traveling. Um, it's like 7 a.m. It's very cloudy, rainy in Vegas. Um, I'm cranky as fuck. I need a coffee and some food. Yeah, your girl is feeling a bit right now. But good morning. Short is being pulled on the back. Say good morning to the vlog. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Hallie. Rainy and cloudy here in Vegas. Not the mood I was going for, I'm gonna tell ya. I don't think I needed this, but I still haven't found my microphone in the cord. So we still don't have mics, but we're making do. Hopefully the audio isn't too shit. Downtown Vegas is dirty. Hobos, crackheads. Crazy people. People want to touch my dog. Get the fuck away from All right, well. Damn, she looked like she's straight out of a music video. I guess when I come back in, I absolutely sucked. Coffee. That was descriptive. Mmm, tastes like Christmas. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> all sitting at a dead stop in the middle of Buffalo. There's literally nothing. Shut what an fuck. idiot! <laughs> Your nose is getting all wet, weirdo. Why are you sniffing so hard? What's out there? You gonna go run up there? Figure out how many cars they've stopped behind us by counting how many cars are going by. We still got another 50 cars. What is going on? <laughs> Look at all the semis, holy shit. So this is currently where we're at. Um, middle of nowhere in Nevada. It's honestly really pretty though, because the sky is clear and there's just fucking nothing but mountains. Walking a mile to this little convenience store so I can go to the bathroom. Hallie! <laughs> go Hallie, go! Run Hallie, run, go! She can't want that shit. We are at the British Bio in the middle of nowhere. 100% ready to get out of this truck. I am over it. Uh, this drive has been boring. Oh, I shouldn't have looked. It's longer than I thought. Two hours and 50 minutes. For some reason, I thought we were like maybe under two hours by now. But we just got under three, so that's awesome. We're on a potty break. Come on, run! Run, stretch your legs! Come on, Holly! Got her one of these retractable leashes, and let me tell you, so helpful because my dog hates going to the bathroom on the leash this would have been so useful if i was still in an apartment but you know just up and left my hometown so that is not the case anymore it's really nice out here i don't know where the hell we are but i think we're like on the cuff of idaho we're like leaving nevada or we just left nevada 
walked right through it today. It's already been like six for six to seven hours. There's a dragonfly right there. Let Holly run and play, stretch her legs. <laughs> Beat my legs. <laughs> like a child. I don't know what that was, but my legs feel like jello because I've been sitting for so long. I couldn't even run. A little run made me feel ten times better. Alive, reborn. Stretch the legs. Spot. Move. Can I have five dollars? She's rich. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's so pretty. We are currently in Shoshone Falls, and this is all built from the Snake River. Absolutely beautiful. They don't got nothing like this in Arizona, I'll tell you that right now. It is beautiful out here. Look at this. Bye bye. You're the one, you're the only one. Baby girl, we could both have fun. Oh, I just want to tell you more. Yeah. all right family if you made it to the end of this video i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking around and just watching a little bit of a piece of my story this journey is nowhere near being over it's just beginning for me i know the video kind of like ended super abruptly but as soon as we got home number one my camera died because i was recording the entire freaking drive and also it was super late we got in way later than we expected to and we were just exhausted i was you know in a little bit of like oh my god like this is now where i live so i was kind of like panicking a little bit not the right time to be like recording i just kind of like got in did a little bit of a pan around and that was about it and then you know i just wanted to like sit in it and really process what was going on and also get a good night's sleep before really diving into things too deeply we're heading on a month now since i moved here and um it took me a while to get this video up Number one, because I'm, I was scared. <laughs> and number two, because it was just a lot of editing and this is kind of like the more in-depth vlogs I've ever done. Um, and it was a little bit of a challenge for me to edit and I, I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed the process and I'm really loving being able to get like more creative as far as YouTube goes and I'm really excited for this journey. Like I said in the beginning of this video in the intro that I want to be consistent on here. I want to produce more content. I want to be here to entertain and to also just let you see what my life is like. With all that being said, you know, I'm definitely adjusting and I'm getting settled here and I feel a lot better than I did, especially better than I did week prior to moving. And I'm finding my faith and that's like the most crucial part in all of this and just pouring everything I have into this path that I've been called to be on and I truly believe that and I have a long way to go. but. I just am glad that I was able to share this little bit with you guys. There's going to be a lot more, you know, fun content to come. This one was a little bit more serious. I think that's going to do it for this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to join the family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>